Thanks, Edward. You're going to check out for the play. You didn't talk like that in your insomnia? Yeah, six days in the car. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll try and make it as short as possible for you, Joe. Um, the theme of my uh, homily is Jesus, our light and good shepherd. John's account of the healing of the man born blind is unusually elaborate with so much events and many lessons. Interestingly, each pointed at Jesus' action today. As we heard, the story unfolds in scene after scene, as if in the Hollywood movie. The blind man received sight, but more than that, he received the light of faith. The Pharisees are in trouble. They are busy investigating the miracle of Jesus and inter interrogating all concerned. It is obvious they are at points, they are at, they are at pains to disprove the miracle <coughs> because it challenged them to accept Jesus as their Messiah. But they won't do it because they aren't waiting at all for the promised Messiah. Hence, they became far to see the goodness of God. The most humiliating part is that they've seen, they've been fooled with all their expertise and in the scriptures, elaborate rituals and intricate laws and traditions. Yet, they fail to acknowledge the Messiah in their midst. Unfortunately, their religion sadly blinded them to see their savior. I mean to ask us, does it surprise any one of us to see these things happening in the gospel today? This is a clear picture of what we do every day of our lives, living like children of darkness as we continue to represent the Pharisees of our time. Did you see how critical those folks were? What were they looking for? Were they uncomfortable that this blind man was saved today? These and many other mind-troubling questions were some of the things we do at times that keeps us away from accepting the truth of the gospel. That's why St. Paul, in the second reading, decided to call our attention back to other. He asked us to only take part in what is pleasing to the Lord and refrain from involving ourselves in the fruitless works of darkness, a waste of time and resources. Why is St. Paul's message important to us today? The first reading and the responsory psalm gives us the clues by explaining how God knows each and every one of us by name and desires to show us with the best attention so much so that the psalmist in chapter 23 identified him as our shepherd. Having looked at all the divine qualities in that psalm, St. Paul tells us in the second reading, it is a life of beatitude with a true light from true light which produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. In the gospel, our faith in God is challenged by the ignorant attitudes of the Pharisees who, are far, who we are far to see God's work. And all, and all those who represent our stance of rejection of the truth of the gospel. Instead of taking part in the light, they have been called, they have been, instead of taking part in the light, they have been called into, they have been called to in baptism. They decided to live in the domains of darkness with contempt for the truth. Brothers and sisters, and my dear communicants, the lessons of today's message reflect on the path you have made to acknowledge God's plan for yourselves, as we saw in the election of David today. He represents a worthy life that is precious before God and pleasing to Him. It manifests the nature of our conditions when we are children of light, 
saved from darkness of sin, like the blind man who received and professed Jesus, the light and shepherd. As you return home, in need of God's grace, let us at the table of the Eucharist rededicate ourselves to God as the disciples of Jesus by conforming ourselves to the truth like people who have been renewed with sight to see the light that Christ brings to us. Although before now we were living in the darkness, but now we seek to return home to our Father, having been found by Him and anointed with grace and the Holy Spirit, like David, to live out the gospel truth and righteousness as the children of the light. Okay. Five minutes, 19 seconds. <clears throat> Everybody take care, brother.